Let's talk about recognizing area as additive. To find the area of more complex figures, you can break it into parts. Look at the first figure. I can break this picture into two separate rectangles. I know that if I multiply the length times the width, I can find the area of each rectangle. So let's start with the first rectangle on top. I can multiply 4 times 2, which equals 8, and that tells me the area of the first rectangle. Now I can look at the bottom and multiply 6 times 2, which is equal to 12, to find the area of the bottom rectangle. If I add both areas together, I'll have the area of my entire figure. 12 plus 8 is equal to 20, and we're talking about inches, so 20 square inches, which we can write inches squared. Let's look at another example. In this figure, we can break it again into two rectangles. Let's look at the top, top rectangle. If I multiply 6 times 2 and get 12, I know the area of the top rectangle is 12. Now I can multiply 2 times 2 and get 4, so I know the bottom part is 4. If I add 12 plus 4, I get a total area of 16 square centimeters or centimeters squared. Here's another example. I'll take my figure and divide it into two rectangles. To find the area of my first rectangle, I'll multiply 3 times 1, and get 3. To find the area of my second rectangle, I'll multiply 5 times 1, and get 5. If I add 5 plus 3, the area of each rectangle, I get a total of 8 square inches or inches squared. And here's our last example. I'll first start by dividing it into two separate shapes or separate rectangles. I'll multiply 2 times 1 to find the area of my first shape. Then I'll multiply 5 times 1 to find the next area. If I add 5 plus 2, I get 7 centimeters squared, square centimeters. And that concludes our lesson on recognizing area as additive.